part of making our expressway e reachable by the outside is to allow traffic into the expressway e i'm using my at&t router here and you can see that i went into firewall ip pass through and in order to get here you have to put in some some access codes but once you get to this page you can see the different options that you can do you can have it as off default server pass through and if you choose pass through here are the different options that you can can do but for me i did default server because it talks about how it allows the device to forward all externally initiated ip traffic tcp and udp protocols to a default host host on the lan right and it says you may you might need this if you cannot anticipate what port number or packet protocol an inbound application might use so i went with the default server here and then i chose from a list of ip addresses and i put in the ip that is on my external interface for my expressway e at this point we now need to go get a domain and set up the srv entries and the a record for the expressway e i chose to go with godaddy to get my domain if you go with godaddy you'll want to go under dns management and you want to add some records if you scroll down a little bit, there's an option to add. You can see that I already added my A record for my Expressway E. To do it, you'll want to put in the host name. You'll want to put in your public facing IP address that the host name is going to resolve to. And my TTL, I put to custom. And I put it something really long. Again, I'm going to tear all this down later, so this won't be up for as long as I set it to. The other thing that you want to set up in your records is your SRV records. So I have my collab edge record here with underscore TLS for the name I put at, if you put your domain here, then it's gonna add on, you know, dot pcanane.com, dot pcanane.com. You don't want that. So just put at here. I put my target, which is my expressway E. And then I put my priority weight port, TTL is custom, all that good stuff. And then if we scroll down a little further, we can see my other SRV record, which is for SIPs. And I put all the same information in here that needed to go. Now what I want to do is bring up my command prompt, not for a device in my lab, because if I, if I do an NS lookup in my lab, uh, it will use the DNS server that's in my lab. I want to use a command prompt for a device that's not in my lab, that's using a public DNS server. So we'll put this in. I put a blur to block my public IP address, but I can see that it is my public IP address. So everything is good in terms of my, my um, host name being externally resolvable. At this point, we're ready to see if our setup is done correctly. I'll close out my command prompt. We'll go over to Collaboration Solutions Analyzer. We'll choose the option for the SRV checker. I'll put in my domain here then we'll hit discover services it might take a little while so i'll pause the recording but in the end we'll get back some really good output letting us know how things are looking in terms of our deployment now you can see the results and port 8443 as well as port 5061 are reachable on my expressway e let's go on back to the main page for this site and we'll go to the collab edge validator. We'll put in our domain name here. Then my user one. And the password for user one. Now we'll validate the MRA deployment and I'll pause the recording while this goes through. We got the results back and the only issue here is the SSL certificate, but that's because I used a internal certificate authority to sign my expressway ease certificate had i gone with a public certificate authority to sign this certificate on my expressway e we wouldn't be seeing this ssl certificate error but as you can see mra login worked the soft phone works tcp connectivity is good and we can see our uh, dns configuration down here all looks good as well with that said all of our configuration is done we should be able to log into jabber I'll give that a test right now. We fired up Jabber on my iPhone and I'm going to put in the user ID at my domain. 
That way the services can be looked up for this particular user. And I'll hit continue. It says finding services, but it lets me know that I cannot log in outside corporate network. That's due to me being on my home Wi-Fi. So I turn off my home Wi-Fi and hit sign in again. Now I get prompted for the certificate because I use that internal CA. I have to accept it or decline it. I accepted it. Now I'm getting prompted for my password and I'll hit sign in. At this point, we're actually going to go in and authenticate against the system. Once I'm logged in, we should be able to see my present status up top in the left is green. And if I click on that, we'll be able to see my phone services, my instant messaging services, and my voicemail services are all good to go. That does it for this video series. I'm going to end this one here and I hope that it was of value to you. I'll see you in my future videos. Thank you for watching.